April 25th through the 27th is the 2024 NFL Draft in Detroit, Michigan. And by the way, we have a first round pick. We have a first round pick. It'll be pick 19. We'll be we'll be the 19th pick. We have a we have our first first round pick since 2016. We almost went 10 years. A whole we almost went a whole decade without a first round pick. And think I'm gonna take this down real quick. I want y'all to think about that. 2016. That's the year we drafted Jared Goff. We traded up to get Jared Goff. From that point forward, we haven't had a first round pick until 2024. In that time, ladies and gentlemen, we have won, I believe, either three or four NFC West titles. We've been to the Super Bowl twice, won one of them. We've been to the NFC Championship at least three times. And we've been to the playoffs with Sean McVay outside of one, maybe two seasons. That was a hell of a turn. With Sean McVay at the helm and not having a first round pick. Think about that. We haven't had a first round pick since we drafted Jared Goff. And then since that time, to, to this season, to this year when we will have a first round pick, we've been to two Super Bowls, we won one. We have won the division three to four times. We've been to the MC Championship game about three times. Not having a first round pick. Not having a first round pick. Think about that. Leslie Sean McVay has done a phenomenal job. Leslie don't give us as much credit as he deserves as an executive. They don't give Leslie the credit that he deserves. They talk about Harry Wells, maybe Philly. They talk about the GM for Detroit for what he's finally done with the Detroit Lions. Leslie name does not get mentioned enough. They talk about John Lynch and what he did with the San Francisco 49ers. And Kyle Shanahan. Remember, Kyle Shanahan and Sean McVay got hired in the same year, 2017. 2017, Sean McVay has been to Super Bowl more times than Kyle Shanahan has. Sean McVay has won a Super Bowl. Kyle Shanahan has not. Maybe it will change this year because, to be honest, I don't see no team that can stop San Fran in the NFC now. The fact that we're out, the Cowboys are out, and the Eagles are out. And even with those three, it's still, it's still, still a daunting time to take them out. But it, but those were the three teams that had the best chance of challenging the San Francisco 49. We'll see what Green Bay does. But back to the mission I had. Les Snead does not get the credit he deserves. Les Snead has done a phenomenal job with not having a first-round pick for all these years. Been to the Super Bowl twice, won the Super Bowl, and he got a team that is young as I don't know what. And he's been killing. Les Snead has been killing the draft. Couple, couple, a third-round pick. Trevor Crown, Robert Seaver, Super Bowl MVP. Okay. Taylor Rapp, who was with the Rams before, before he went to Buffalo. Ernest Jones, I metal linebacker. Okay. Carry on Williams. Puka Nakua, fifth round pick. Kobe Turner, Brian Young. Okay, I ain't even get to the office lineman. Just to show you, Les Snead has been killing the drop without having a first round pick, and some years not even having a second round pick. There's been years that we had to wait to the third round to start picking. And Les Snead has done a phenomenal job, but y'all don't give Les Snead the credit that he deserves. That man should be in a running for his regular of the year every single year. The fact that he does what he does and did not have a first round pick to do it with. Imagine that. Eight years. Eight years. And then guess what? He makes the trade for Ron Miller. He makes the trade for OBJ. He makes the trade for Matthew Stafford. When the Rams should not be making some moves because of the Caps situation. Let's need find a way to pull it off. But do people give Let's Need the credit that he deserves? No, they don't. Don't even talk about Let's Need. When they talk about executive, Harry Roseman is one of the first names that come out of people's mouth for Philadelphia. Rightfully so, though. He's done a phenomenal job. You draft Jalen Hurts. You trade for AJ Brown. You get Devontae Smith in the draft. Okay, you bring in Devont. You bring in DeAndre Swift. Okay, you bring in uh, Kevin Bayer from Tennessee. You you. Howard Roseman does some things. 
But why is he the main one brought up? Why don't why nobody brings up Les Snead? Because Les Snead did a phenomenal job. Through these eight years of not having a first round pick, Les Snead has done a phenomenal job. Okay. Sean McVay has done a phenomenal job coming in not having first round picks. Just wanted to throw that out there, man, because Les Snead deserves his credit. And uh, and he don't get it. Les Snead don't get his credit as much credit as he deserves. 